Hello guys, welcome to my Minecraft video. Today we are doing Oshawott. Uh, he is one of the starters. Now this is a viewer requested build. Uh, like the whole evolution line will be, so I'm doing them today. I'm uh, for the next few weeks or so, well a few months, I'm going to be doing viewer requested builds. Uh, so this is the first of them. Uh, Oshawott, so we'll get straight to it. Uh, before I forget guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate it. And it really helps. Uh, now the blocks you're going to need for Oshawott are black concrete, blue concrete, cyan concrete, light blue concrete, block of quartz, cyan wool, clay, white grey concrete, grey concrete, and then you'll need brown concrete, yellow terracotta, sand and block of diamond. So if we do that now, okay guys, so if you place your first block down and then keeping your black concrete, go three to the right, up right diagonal once, up once, up left diagonal. Now on this bit, just get your sign concrete and then the second block in, place one on top. With your black concrete, up left diagonal from here, go up one, and then go up left diagonal again. And then go three to the left, so one, two, three. Get your blue concrete, and then just from here, place one to the right and one on top, and then switch into your black concrete, place one on top of that, and then from the left side of that blue concrete, go two to the left. For this bit, place your sand concrete to the right of this, and then with the black, just surround it, leaving the bottom bit empty, like so. Place one on top of here, and then two to the right of this one. Now from here, go up right diagonal once, go up one, and then right, so it looks like an L shape. And then go up right diagonal there, and one to the right. Now switch to your sand concrete, up right diagonal again. Go two to the right, down right diagonal once, place a blue concrete just there, and then with the black concrete go down right diagonal once, and then one underneath, down left diagonal once, and then two to the left. Now with your blue concrete just join it to the left until it connects to that point. What you can do here is leave a gap here, place a blue concrete there and then go two to the left place one on top and then fill this section here with blue concrete same with the foot if we place one here and then one up left diagonal from that cyan block and then just go across like that now with your light blue concrete fill the rest of these spaces oh. like so get your blue concrete and from here place one to the left and then you want to get a cyan concrete and place one up left and down left diagonal from here so just do that basically get your black concrete go down left diagonal once and then go three to the left, one, two, three. Go up, left diagonal once. Switch back to your cyan concrete, place one on top, and then up, right diagonal, and then one to the right. Now from this one, you should have there, so you should have a one gap. And then if you look at this gap here, go down and place one cyan on top of the black concrete. Get a blue concrete, but just place one here in the corner. And then you can fill the rest of this bit with the light blue concrete. Like so. Now keeping the black concrete, or switching to the black concrete, should I say, on top of this blue concrete, light blue concrete here, place one there. Go up left diagonal once, go up one, up left diagonal again. And then go up three, so one, two, and three. Switch to your cyan, go up right diagonal once, and one on top. And then with your black concrete, 
from the left side of the cyan, go three to the left. So one, two, three. Up left diagonal once, one to the left. Now you're going to switch to your light grey concrete. Go up left diagonal once, plane of one on top. Go up right diagonal once, and then go two to the right, like so. Back to your cyan. Place one to the right there, down one, and then down right diagonal. So from here, get your grey concrete, place one up right diagonal, and one to the right, and go up left diagonal. Three times, so one, two, and three. On the third one, place one on top, and then go up left diagonal, and then place four on top of this block, so one, two, three, four, so you should have a column of five. Go up right diagonal once, place one on top, Switch to your blue concrete and then place three on top of that. Go up right diagonal once and one to the right. Now get your light blue concrete and then place two just there. Switch into your light grey concrete, go two to the right there. Grey concrete, go up right diagonal once, one to the right and then place one light grey next to it. Now with your grey concrete, go up right diagonal from here and then you want to make a row of five, so two, three, four, five. Go down right diagonal with a light grey concrete. Switch to your grey concrete, place two to the right, and then down right diagonal with a light grey. One grey concrete next to it, and then down right diagonal with a grey concrete. So it looks like that. Switch to your cyan concrete. Go down right diagonal once and then two to the right and then down right diagonal again. Now place one blue concrete here and then with your light blue concrete two here and then three like so and then one blue concrete just there. So with your black concrete you want to go three down from here so two and three. Place one blue concrete to the left and then one down like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the other end now just to make sure it connects. So from here get your cyan concrete, place two above this and one up left diagonal. Place a grey concrete here and then four black concretes to the right so one, two, three, four. Up right diagonal once, up one and then up left diagonal once and then place one light grey concrete to the left and then also place one here in the corner uh, sorry place one clay there and one clay there the light grey concrete you could actually get a one on top here and then place a quartz there and one more on top there so it looks like that so get your cyan concrete from here go up right diagonal once and then place two grey concretes to the right so it should connect to the clay place a cyan concrete there and then go up left diagonal once now from here you're actually going to go two to the left so you've got a row of three but we're actually going to connect it to the top of the head just to make sure it's worked so you're going to do a column of two columns of two but they're going to be um, black concrete and a grey concrete on top so like so so you just copy that and do another one going up like that and now hopefully by the looks of it go up right diagonal with the black concrete and it should connect to the bottom of that blue concrete there and it has perfect let's go into this cyan concrete here that we did before go down left diagonal twice and then up left diagonal once, two to the left, down left diagonal once, and then go down and left, go up left diagonal twice, one to the left, and down left diagonal once. Now get a light grey concrete and just place one on top of there and it should connect to that point. So what I'll do is I'll do the face first and then the body. So keeping your light grey concrete, 
from this column of two here, go two to the right, take the first one out. Two to the right, take the first one out. And then this first block here, go up right diagonal. So it should look like that. Get yourself the gray concrete and from this point here, go up two, take the first one out. Get your light gray concrete, place one on top, one to the right, one on top. And then with your gray concrete, you're going to place one here and then go down right diagonal twice, like so. Switch back to your light gray concrete, place one here in the corner and then one up left diagonal here. So from this bit, you're essentially going to do what you did over there, uh, but I'm going to do it differently. So go up two, place one on the right, one on the left, and then take those two out. Now if you get your clay, we're actually going to do um, the bottom bit. So from the right, place two there, and then from the bottom one, go left, down, left twice. And you're going to want to go underneath this point, fill in this bit here. And then you're going to place one there. So this is just going to go all the way across there, like so. This bit's going to be filled in as well. From here, go all the way to the left, up one, and then all the way to the left. And you can fill this bottom section in here with clay. Okay, that bit's done. I'm just going to do the eyes, so get your grey concrete, and from this section here, go too high, take the first one out, place two black concretes on top, and one quartz on top of that. And then with your grey concrete, just from the black concrete, go up three times on both sides. And then place one on top of the quartz. Get one clay and then just place one here in the corner. That's one eye. Now to the other eye, it's pretty much similar. So from here, go up three times. So one, two, three. Take the first two out. Place a clay to the right. And then the eye is pretty much the same. So two black concretes, one quartz. And then you're going to go around the sides with grey concrete and one on top of the quartz. Before I forget, get your light grey concrete and just on top here, place one underneath this light uh, blue concrete and then one to the right on the top bit. You also want on the right side here, like so. Now to do the nose, get your grey concrete again. So you're going from this section here. So go up to. Take the first one out and then go right twice and once to the left. So you've got a four. Go up right diagonal here. Up left diagonal. And then, sorry, go up right diagonal and then one on top. And then up left diagonal, one to the left. Now this is where you're going to switch to the brown concrete and the yellow terracotta. So with the brown concrete, go two to the left. Down left diagonal once, down one. And then go all the way to the right. And then place one here and one there. And then fill the last two gaps with the yellow terracotta. Now if we go to the belly. With the brown concrete. Go to this point here. Go down right diagonal once. And go down twice. Get your yellow terracotta. Go to the left twice. And then up twice. Now you want to do a up right diagonal with the yellow terracotta and a up left diagonal with the brown concrete. Like so. From this yellow terracotta, place one brown on top. Go two to the right. Down left diagonal with the yellow terracotta. And then from this yellow terracotta, go down left diagonal. Uh, sorry, you want to go down right diagonal, then left, down left diagonal. And then you're going to go down twice. You're going to place two grey concretes underneath this point and this point, and then two brown concretes underneath this point, this point, and then connect the two. Place one brown concrete to the right of this grey concrete, and then go up right diagonal again, one to the right, go up two, and then up left diagonal, and it connects. Now fill the rest of that section in with sand. Like so. You really want to put one here as well. It looks like that. 
I did try using like uh, oak planks and birch planks, but it just looked a bit too dark, so I prefer the sand. Okay, now we're going to use the cyan wool. So, from the bottom bit here, so in line with this brown concrete, place one cyan wool there, go down, and then go all the way across. This bit here, leave two, and then go all the way across from that. Leave another two, go across from that, and then leave two, and then go up one. Fill this bottom bit with cyan wool. Like so. Now from here, from this white quartz, place three to the left with the cyan wool. Three, go up one and then go all the way across. And then fill this section in and this section in as well. Like so. And then you just want to get your cyan wool and just place one there. Now switch into the quartz, we're just going to fill the arms in. So place one here. And then fill this bit in with quartz. And then same on the right side. Uh, fill this section in with quartz. Like so. So what we're doing, uh, what we've got left to do for the belly area is just basically, I've chosen to go with diamond because anything that is different color just doesn't look uh, vibrant enough. Um, so I'm just filling in this belly area with diamond, block of diamond. Okay, there we go. Uh, so all we have to do left now is just the face and I've just gone with block of quartz and just fill that in. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll be back in a sec guys. Okay guys, well there we are. That's a short done. Wasn't longer, too long of a video so quite happy with that. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video and check out my channel for more Pokemon stuff and other various games that I've been recording and doing as well. Um, now stay tuned for uh, Do What, I think is the evolution of Oshawott. I think that's what it's called. Uh, which will be coming along soon. And then Samurott, which is the last evolution, will be after that. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you build this in your worlds and it hopefully it'll look okay. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.